Hi everyone, thank you for your patience waiting for this webinar to start. We're all ready, good to go, but as usual, I'm sure those of you who come along regularly will know what we have to say is the disclaimer. As you know, trading can be a very risky business, so please, please don't ever think of using money that you cannot afford to lose. I know we've got some of our uh, Forex uh, students here and some of our quantum users, but I've also got some new people, so I'm literally going to whiz through the next a few slides. Basically, we're going to be looking at the charts, uh, the, the futures charts. I've got uh, the YM, I've got the uh, ES, and I've got the NQ on my MT4 platform. And David has actually got the futures over on. What are you doing, darling? You're doing Ninja Trader today. Yeah. He's doing uh, looking at a Ninja. And as always, we will be looking at the charts through the Prism Volume Price Analysis, the book that is up on Amazon, which explains this, uh, we think, this fantastic methodology. And certainly when you look at some of the charts that I'm going to pull up in this session, you will see why it is such a powerful methodology and it works in all time frames and across all markets. And today is actually a really important day for the crypto market because we've got the Coinbase IPO. I'm sure the markets are really excited to know what is going to happen there. Right. Um, the great thing about VPA is the signals that it gives, the setup, the potential setups that it gives you, they repeat in, in as I said, across the markets and in all time frames. And once you get to recognize those signals, those setups, call them what you like, you can then, you know, when you see the chart developing in, in front of your eyes, you can say, ah, oh, yeah, that right, I've seen that before. That's how your brain that's how brain works. Our brains are fantastic at pattern recognition. Uh, so what we did uh, to help uh, with uh, uh, with this is we basically came up with uh, an, a companion book where there are work called worked examples and there are over 200 for the one uh, uh, in the book that accompanies the main VPA book and that is primarily stocks indices some commodities there is a forex one which accompanies the, the Forex for Beginners book, and that's got 100 um, examples. So there's about 300 out of them out there. I'm not saying you have to learn all 300, but the nice thing about them is the setups is you you kind of have a sort of favorite. You begin to say, well, I'm really, you know, in, some of them repeat more often, and you will get to recognize those and you think yeah I like those and perhaps focus on one or two or three setups that you then wait uh, you know to develop on a chart. A VPA those of you who've seen this before as you know there are five elements there's obviously the volume the price we use candles some people use like to use bars candles and candle patterns and of course the all important support and resistance so as you, it's like your house it's your foundations and on the top you can put whatever you like you can use um, standard indicators moving averages fractals as you can see of which there are a multitude of them we've developed our own uh, to support the um, the methodology, but in particular, the indicators we have are particularly to do with support and resistance because we don't use um, um, we don't use Fibonacci. We use Camarilla, and we've got uh, indicators f that help us with price-based support and volume-based support. Right, very quickly, let me take that down. As I said, I've got my charts on MT4. I hope you can't hear this squawk that's going in in my ear. I've got an alert set set up on um, on Ninja Trader, and it's really annoying. I, I don't think it comes through to you. It's just, so if I stop, you'll know why. My my ears are being blasted. Right before we look at this uh, at the indices themselves, a very very a quick rundown of what's happening today in the markets. Very quickly on Forex Factory. Where are we? Here we are. What's happening? Well, we've got, um, we've had, um, she's been on already, uh, Lagarde. Well, oh no, she's coming up at three. And then we have obviously, we've got uh, J Powell, and then we have um, three more Fed members. There's not a lot, there's, as you can see, apart from the oil inventories, there's not a lot going on in terms of fundamental news today. Doesn't mean there isn't any news. There's an awful lot going on in the markets. And also what's interesting is, what uh, which of the indices is actually moving higher are they all moving together or have we have we got a little bit of divergence again if you are uh, an index trader uh, 
you will know that over the last sort of few months, David, would you reckon, few few months, there has been a divert. Normally, the indices move in in concert. You know, they move in lockstep. Certainly, the the S and P and the, the Nasdaq have a very close relationship. But you know, the YM would, uh, which is the Dow, would would certainly go along as a, they work go as a trio. But because of uh, what's been going on in background with regard to what's going on in the bond market, with the threat of inflation, you may have read that we have, we're having this reflation trade, rotation, i.e. we're coming out of growth stocks, which are represented by the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ's been a bit of a laggard, and as I said, certainly over the last few weeks. But what's happening at the moment, that kind of narrative has kind of died away a bit. And in fact, the NASDAQ, um, went up, uh, let's have another day, the daily one. Yeah, this is the NASDAQ chart. We'll, we'll, see, we'll have a look at it on the MT4 platform. You can see yesterday was a very, uh, was a very, you know, a big up day, basically. Very narrow uh, today, nothing, you know, very, very quiet at the moment. Mark, markets are... You can see from the from the type of candles that we have here, you have days when everything is very narrow spread, then you and another narrow spread, and then you have a bit of a push up, another push up, and another narrow spread. It's kind of it's there's no consistency in the price action. Normally, if it's in a strong bull run, you want sort of nice little soldiers all moving up together. And part of the reason is um, in the background there's there's all sorts of issues. Uh, the one that I would probably say, perhaps pay attention to at the moment, is on a geopolitical level, and that is what is going on with uh, Ukraine and Russia and uh, and the tension that is now building again on the border. In by coincidence, um, not sure if you know uh, something called cycle studies. Uh, cycle studies look at exactly that, very, very long-term cycles. And ironically, it is now 100 years and 80 years since we had a very, very similar situation. So, you know, history kind of repeats itself. But is that going to be what is going to tip this market over? This is where our volume comes in. And this is where I say, you you know, even if you look at charts, um, this is the daily chart, or you look at any time frame, and you look at the volume profile that is underneath the price action, and you will soon see, begin to recognize that, you know what, there is, we're looking for anomalies in as much that we're looking for a consistency between the price action and what is going on underneath. Now, before I just point to some very glaring um, examples of anomalies on the chart, on this chart, which I hope you can actually immediately, you know, your eye is immediately drawn to what I'm referring to. Can I also say markets can drift higher, they can go higher, they can carry on, you know, on medium volume, low volume, they're marked up. You know, it's, and as traders, and particular investors, not so much traders, investors perhaps, you know, there is this fear of missing out. So prices keep going up and up and up and up and up. Now they may not be um, sub fully supported by the volume that's underneath it. It could be very light volume, but because it, it triggers this fear of missing out, people uh, jump in and then you get uh, you know the uh, the dis the big distribution, the um, the the big anomalies at the top of a trend, and then you get the correction and the pullback. And the depth of the correction really kind of it depends on how much it's gone up. You know there is a it's a bit like um, is it like physics, David? I didn't do physics, David. It to visit for every action there is a reaction. And I'm not saying you can can you put a, a, a value on it. Well, if we look at the bond market. Uh, what has been written that I've read that if the bond yield, and I'm talking about the 10-year bond yield, gets to 2%, then um, investors uh, should expect a, a correction of at least 20%. Now, on the 10-year, we're not actually that far off. So we'll have to see. It's all things you have to bear in mind, right? Going back to this chart, well, what are we looking at a, 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 a uh, we're looking at here we have this is the trend higher at the moment we know it's a trend higher because it's uh, it's uh, higher lows and higher highs and what's interesting with this trend it actually came off the volume point of control this is uh, volume and price 
over time. It followed a period of consolidation. You can see the amount of volume that went into this consolidation phase, especially under the down candles. If you look at those down candles, look at that one there in particular, you look at the amount of volume, but the price didn't go anywhere because it's, it is anomalous. The spread of this candle with that amount of volume, you'd have expected it to go higher. So within that candle, there must have been buying, but it went sideways for a considerable time. Now, this is the breakout that we've got. This is, um, you know, this is uh, Wyckoff's second law of cause and effect. You know, this is the, this, uh, this is the cause. It's over quite a long, you know, it's a reasonable period of time. You would expect it to move higher. Now, the volume underneath it is quite interesting, actually, because they all seem to be consistent. Now, I do appreciate this volume is not the, the actual futures volume it, because this is a synthetic contract, but you know it's it's good enough for us to do our analysis, and I'm sure David will be able to pull it up uh, on the on the Ninja Trader platform where you actually have the contract itself, as it were. So there we are. We're kind of we're kind of moving up. We we have a very sharp angle as well. Look at the angle at the moment. So at the moment, unless there is something sort of quite cataclysmic out there, I'm saying you know God help us, something on the geopolitical side or or I know the, there was the 30 year bond auction yesterday and supposing I don't know the yield was three and a half percent, then you would have had an almighty meltdown in the market. We haven't. Is it going to carry on higher? It can do, but the spreads are beginning to narrow. When we know that there is going to be a reversal, is this volume will become extreme. These spreads will become very narrow. There's a lot of effort going in, but there is no result. That is where uh, Wyckoff's third law then comes in to play. But where we are at the moment is we're, we're moving higher, we're drifting higher, kind of volume is kind of so so in fact I got an email from one of um, oh I get lots of email and from uh, all sorts of different places and on the sell side which is the institutional side there's no activity it's very very quiet we also know it's very very quiet because if we look at the VIX the VIX 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 where are you VIX you've disappeared there we are where are we? There we are. There we are. The VIX. We've been talking about the VIX. The VIX has been behaving very oddly until recently. It's not really been doing as the market's gone up. It's kind of stayed elevated over 20, you know, almost up to 25. But look now, it's kind of in a bit of a down move. And, you know, if this carries on lower, we know these markets will go higher. It, it works in an inverse way. Right. Go back to the big anomaly that we have here. And if we, this is the one that I want to refer to because you also have a look at a pattern. As I said, look at the pattern of this move higher. It's a kind of, it's kind of, it's a much gentler. It's a much, um, it's, it's kind of coming up to a kind of rounded, if you like. Whereas this one is is much more angular. But the important thing here is while this was going up what was happening here this is what was happening the volume was falling so this is a, such a clear anomaly as it as it, it went down and down and down this was going higher struggling to the spreads were narrowing as well the other uh, the other pattern the other anomaly to look at is if you have a very narrow spread and you have a ton of volume underneath it well that's a, another another version of an anomaly and then we had the move lower and the nice thing about the move lower is that it's supported with rising volume because volume has to be uh, consistent whether it's going up or whether it's going if it's going down you want to see heavy heavy selling and then you look at and when it, when do you say when is it coming to an end well you look at those candles that have wicks to the bottom of the candle sometimes to stop a fall this is quite a steep fall given the volume that's under there, you've got this wick coming under here. It's, it's what we call stopping volume. Well, that was certainly amount of stopping volume, but it may not be enough. David always uses the analogy of a tanker. Um, you know, if you want to stop a ta an oil tanker and turn it round, or you don't want to turn it round in the Suez Canal, it's going to take, it's not going to do it in one go. And you have what we call the mopping up, uh, you know, um, effect that follows. Then we have the next, uh, so have the big, big down candle. 
that follows that uh, that but look at the spread of it and look at the volume that's underneath it you would expect it to be much more and the way you look at that is you benchmark it you then look back over the chart and see well it was there a candle of this range at the, somewhere in the past and what was the volume underneath it and you say mm, you know so it's it's all these little little things put together that you then look at and you know and you come to a um, a conclusion basically now what you also have to put into into the equation is support and resistance because that is so important and here the the support for this move lower which actually paused at the VPOP but really it was here and this is where volume because we we measure volume uh, support and resistance both from a volume perspective from the volume point of control these are the um, these bar these lines that are that are uh, delivered by the indicator as well as price based support which is this line here which is a solid line it's a bit stronger than this line but although this isn't a very strong line it was also supported by the uh, um, by uh, a volume support and it went back to the uh, uh, volume point of control then we've had the, this congestion uh, phase with a ton tons of volume going in there but look at the volume under the down candles they didn't really go very far and now this is the breakout so that's where we are at the moment for the nq they're they're not um, well david will look at the um at the levels for the YM and the AS, if you don't mind, David, is that okay if I pass over to you? And where we are in terms of levels for this week, which is quite interesting, this is on the Camarilla, this is the uh, the market's just about open. Where are we? Well, we've had a little, uh, a little scoot higher. We're at the R3. As I said in our Forex webinar, the Camarilla levels work exactly the same across the markets. The, the key levels, I would say the most important levels are the third and the fourth. Certainly on the third, as we can see here, you can get a lot of congestion. Then you've got a break and often, very often, it will actually come back and test. And you also get with this indicator, you get this little commentary over on the left hand side. Um, you can take it off. You don't have to have to watch it, but it is pretty, pretty accurate in the sense that it's saying a, a potential for a long. And the reason it's saying that is because it hasn't actually broken through that. And also it's also triggered a volatility candle, which I hope you can see. Let me see if I can uh, make it this bigger. I don't think I can. Let's have a look. Let's do it that way. Yeah, because this triggered this volatility candle. What happens with volatility? There's a lot of volume underneath it, but it's the beginning of the, the market's just open. Um, we would have an expectation that the, the price may retreat within the spread of the candle. So not only is the Camarilla working, but also the volatility indicator is giving you an expectation of uh, what the price action is likely to do and here we have on the faster charts really just waiting for the markets to 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 calm as it were to you know to settle basically um, before looking uh, to see which direction they are likely to go so in they are in an uptrend does that mean that you know it's not possible to take a trade to the downside no because if you're on on the second chart or you if you're on a chart like a a, a Renko chart then you know you see a you see a move you uh, participate it depends on your time frame right a move back to david thanks darling and uh good to have you with us nice to see you again and uh let's move the chat box out of the way hopefully you can hear me okay um, I'm actually on gold at the moment um, because, 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 really nice move on gold. Um, it's been pretty volatile, just to ease that over a little bit. But a really, as Anna was talking about, anomalies, and it's what we look for all the time. It's just a classic example. Got a nice price waterfall developed down to the volume point of control. And then you've got you've got two strong signals. We had a volatility up here, not a huge amount of volume with it, but certainly an increase, obviously. Then we had this candle, then we had a repeat performance with more volume indeed, and then we're looking for the possibility, we're always looking for the possibility of a reversal. And then, you know, we get this candle here. What is that candle telling you? It's telling you it's buying loud and clear. There's a ton of buying coming in under that, that candle. Is it enough to drive this market higher? Gold has been, um, I'm talking longer term now, has been bearish for a while. 
Um, it's trying to recover. It's trying to rally the whole time. And it, it constantly rallies and then falls back, rallies and falls back. I've just got my eye on the dollar because obviously that has an impact on, on the price of gold as well. Uh, sometimes more, sometimes less. It's currently selling off a little bit, not hugely strong. It's down at 91.71 at the moment. But what's interesting about this rally is that uh, we get the buying coming in of this candle. And why is it anomalous? It's anomalous for a simple reason that if this were a true uh, reflection of price versus volume, then this candle would be wider than this one down the bottom of the chart here somewhere. It looks something like that. And it isn't. It's a narrow spread and it's got a deep wick to the lower body. So what does that tell you? It tells you it must be buying coming in there. So there is. But what's interesting is the follow through. Is this a is this a, a strong are we going to see a strong reversal here or are we going to see weakness in this rally? And if you look at these three candles, you've got rising volume, a rising price and falling volume. So it's not exactly indicative of a strong market. In other words, one that's not going to go very far. Does it mean it's not tradable? No, of course, it's tradable. As an intraday trader, it's tradable. Everything is tradable. You could drop down to a, a seconds chart or a, a very fast minute chart and make money off this. No problem at all. But in terms of if you were looking at this uh, slower, longer term, then um, and by longer term, I'm talking about, you know, staying in for an hour or so. Uh, at the moment, it doesn't look too great. We've got this white candle here. We've got volume under there. If you compare this volume with that volume, the two candles are pretty much identical. That was the amount of effort to take it that far. The amount of effort to take it this far has fallen away dramatically. So what does that tell you? Not a great deal of interest to the upside at the moment. Trend monitor is still bright red. Um, and that's just a very simple little example of volume price analysis in action and when you look down at the other charts and it's all to do with multiple time frames you look over on the five minute same thing big volatility trigger you look over on the 10 minute same thing massive volatility candle ton of volume under it what are you expecting you're expecting one of two things either congestion or a reversal that's it if the price action follows on th thereafter once the trigger has appeared fine you just jump in or do whatever you're doing if you're in as i will say if you've got a position in the market and you get a volatility trigger then i will close out 99 times out of 100 i'll close out because i don't want to sit through either congestion certainly don't want a reversal on my hand so it's as simple as that it's a pretty straightforward decision that's what's happening on gold so have a quick look at oil <clears throat> Oil's been struggling again, big volatility, you know, and again, a classic example of volatility in action. That's the trigger, ton of volume coming in under it. You know the big operators are in there. You know it's a trap move. Up it goes very rapidly. You can imagine all the oil traders jumping and as it goes through 61, up to 61.20, and, you know, fear of missing out, fear of missing out, fear of missing out, bang, now they're trapped. That's the power of volatility. It's what the market makers know. It's what the big operators know. It is very, very simple. It just plays on the fear of missing out. It's very simple. And let's face it, if you were a market maker, then you do exactly the same thing or a big operator, you do exactly the same thing yourself because it's such an easy way to draw traders in, trap them in the move. And now they're all regretting that decision. Probably most have been stopped out now anyway. Uh, that's where we are in terms of oil on the daily. $67 a barrel was the cap that we mentioned many, many times, particularly based off the weekly and the monthly. We're trading around the volume point of control. You know, it's going sideways at the moment. We've got some resistance overhead there at uh, just below $62 a barrel. Let's going to have a quick look and see what the indices are doing because they've been open now 15 minutes or so. There we go. That's on five minutes. So we've got five minutes on the top line. This is on uh, YM, NQ and ES, Dow, NASDAQ and S&P 500. And down at the bottom, we've got them on the daily charts. But essentially, you know, they're still pretty bullish. That's the YM on five. In fact, I haven't got the, let me open the other workspace up, which is a bit easier. I'm not sure what I've got on there. Uh, there we go. Multiple time frames. Just open that up. Got the NQ on there. Okay, just load that up. Got the different time frames. I like to have the 15 second up as well. It's the one minute. There we go. Just change this over. No six. Uh, I was going to put 16 in. Let me. There we go. Now we're on the YM. So we've got the YM on multiple time frames. 15 second, one minute, three minute, five minute, ten minute, and over onto the 15 minute. So very much intraday. 
You can see the volatility triggers here. We've had a ton of volume coming in. This is 230R times, what you expect to see. Lots of volatility, it's what we always get. Market's rising pretty rapidly. Over on here, I've got the time and sales coming through. And what I'm looking for on this window are anything above 50, certainly up into three figures is of interest. All this stuff at the moment is not really of interest, ones and twos, it's just noise. Um, and what I'm looking for always is a big, big number through here and just see how the market reacts to it. But the principles are exactly the same, whatever you're doing, whatever chart you're on, whatever time frame, you can see, as I explained this morning, um, you know, using the trend monitor, using multiple time frames, this is what it's all about. It's blue here, it's blue here, it's transitioning to blue here, it's transitioning to blue here, it's starting to transition to blue here, and it's just moving into blue over here as well. So it's just telling you that this, this trend that is developing on 15 second has rippled through into the one minute, the one minute's passing it through to the three minute, you know, it's developing strength, it's onto the five minute. Does that mean it's gonna carry on all day? No, of course not. Uh, but it's just giving you a heads up as a trader, you know, what is going on in my fastest time frame and is like to come through into my trading window. If I'm trading 15 second, one minute, three minute, you know, my primary window is really in here. This is uh, giving me a view of, of slower, the slower term price action. This is giving me a view of what is going on faster term and what is likely to impact me over here. Uh, you've got a pivot come in there on the three candle arrangement there. So there's a bit of weakness coming in here. And I can see straight away if I blow that up full size, you can see it for yourself. Where is this weakness coming from? It's coming from this guy here. You've got a candle there, wick to the top, lots of volume going in. What is that telling you? It's telling you there's a bit of selling gone in there. It's not terribly strong at that particular point. So don't be surprised to see this happening. But what have you got on that effect? You've got three, three down candles, but you've got falling volume. So you've got falling volume, falling price, which is anomalous. Simple as that. And that's how quick you have to be if you're at, that, at this sort of speed. Um, obviously, on a slower time a time frame chart, you know you don't have to be that quick. Um, but if you if you even if you don't trade these sorts of time frames, if you use them as a practice, you, it, you will be amazed how quickly you speed up because you've got to be fast and understand precisely what's going on. Pick up the anomalies, pick them out. Whether it's on a one candle one bar arrangement or whether it's on multiples, whatever it is, you've got to be able to pick them up quick. Got a volatility trigger on five. So if you're up on the one minute and you haven't got a multiple time frame up, then you've missed that. So don't be surprised to see the, the price action retrace inside there. Simple as that. That's the power of it. You've got another one here. Same thing on 10 minute. So you know, don't be surprised to see congestion building over here, congestion building over in these time frames. So this is not going to go up in a straight line. It's just going to congest, just seeing what the dollar is doing. The dollar is is it rallied a little bit. It was down at 91.70. It's now at 91.73. Uh, but even that looks a little bit weak. It's hardly, uh, hardly rushing up. It's just sort of sliding lower, if you like. There we go. Let's just have a quick look at back and see what's happening on gold. Where are we gold? There we go. <coughs> There we are, so that rally looks a little bit a uh, little bit weak. There we go, we have the volatility, you know, we've gone up there, but you know, it really is not very strong. It's not looking, you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna set catch fire. And really just simply down to that very quick analysis of, of what went on here. Yes, there's an opportunity if you're a scalping trader. Certainly, you know, I would have been looking at that as a scalping trader, possibly an opportunity to grab some points, pips, dollars per ounce whatever barrels per you know or dollars per barrel whatever it may be we've gone back up to the vpoc volume here looking weak what are we seeing congestion building trading around the volume point of control it that's what this is about you know it's about reading the market the live edge not uh, not after the event how are we doing for time gosh we've got another webinar coming up in eight minutes um where else are we going let's have a look yeah Okay, let's just go back on to the uh, quick go look at the final three of them. There we go. It's very hard joining a really strong trend. Yep. Dow's rising nicely. NQ, as you can see, is um, is divergent. So we've got the Dow rising, NQ falling, and we've got the NQ uh, the ES rising. So there's clear divergence. The NQ has been leading the way for a long time. Uh, so we, but we do get in a uh, divergence. Normally, you expect to see all three. As Anna said, you expect to see all three of them go up uh, together. 
but at the moment as you can see clearly oops sorry about that what i'm trying to do just pull it out a bit there we go um you can see the 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 selling that we've got on the nq but we've got buying in terms of ym and es the question you've got to ask yourself is is simple really is this an opportunity to buy into the nq because are these two going to pull the nq up or is the nq going to pull these two down because one way or the other you know that's the way it will go obviously if they're all going up together it's great because you just trade the index of choice and you're following basically the, in the path of the other two but on this scenario you've got to be careful because you know there's one that's clearly weak and the other two are strong so which one is going to win that battle it's down to vpa and all the other analysis uh, volatility it's down to support and resistance it's down to where the volume point of control sits in your time horizon etc 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 this is obviously at the volume point of control on five so you expect to see congestion you've got lots of volatility tons of volume which is what you expect anyway because the market opened at 230 here into congestion now you've got to wait and be patient is the nq going to rally is it an opportunity to buy the nq given how strong these two are quite possibly but you know time will tell right i'm going to have to wrap up there sorry Dine. Uh, well, have we got. I'm going to wrap up there, and we'll pick it up on the next one because. Uh, where will you find all the bits and pieces? You'll find them uh, here at. This is where you'll find all the indicators at quantumtrading.com. Uh, we have all the platforms: MT45, Ninja Trader 78, Trading View, which I've just been through with you, and also uh, Trade Station has now been launched. We've got two versions of that. That's uh, the Trade Station 9.5 with interactive brokers as the live feed and TradeStation 10, which is TradeStation Securities. And they, of course, incorporate the, the awesome power of radar screen, which is wonderful. And remember, when you invest with us, there's several things to remember. First of all, you can move your indicators from platform to platform. So if you start with one platform, you perhaps want to move to another platform, that's perfectly fine. We don't charge you for that. We just transfer your indicators across. We have a lot of uh, customers who just start perhaps with MT4 or TradingView, then they want to move to uh, TradeStation or Ninja Trader. Perfectly fine. We do that for you. Absolutely no charge at all. And finally, if you do, whether you buy one indicator or several, if you upgrade to another package, for example, we will always give you a credit for those indicators. So you never lose out. You never lose your initial investment. We always protect you in that respect. So you'll always receive a full credit. And finally, of course, if you invest in the full package, even more so with TradeStation at the moment, because it's currently at $677, I think, off the top of my head. But once those other indicators are developed for the platform, then we will be increasing the price which will align with the mt45 platform so it's a great time to invest with trading view because as i say you'll get all those indicators free of charge you won't be paying for them so it's not a bad time to invest in that package um, but all the other packages if you invest with a full package we also give you all future indicators we develop free of charge it's just our way of saying thank you finally just to give you a heads up on the education program um, I've just touched on one or two aspects of it, obviously within the program here. It's called the Complete Forex Trading Program because that's exactly what it is. Uh, to say it's comprehensive um, is a disservice. It is everything you need to know. Uh, you have all the modules which cover the psychology, the fundamental analysis, relational analysis, so you'll understand how markets relate to one another in terms of risk, in terms of uh, relationships to, to bonds, bond yields, how commodities fit into that structure, and of course, the, and the actual relationships within markets, you know, how currency pairs relate within the markets themselves. You've got a, a, a deep dive into technical analysis, of course, that is, that is VPA. It's all the Wyckoffian principles. It's Wyckoff's third law, th three laws. And in addition to that, it's how to apply VPA, not just to, to straightforward analysis, but we teach you how to understand when a trend is coming to a pause point and to identify whether it's actually a reversal in trend, in other words, from primary to primary, or is it simply a pullback? And if there's one thing that you would learn, it is simply that, because that will stop you getting out of trades too early. It's as simple as that. The mechanics of trading, and then there's something like three, two to 300 hours of video, VPA chart examples, how to use the indicators, pulling it all together, topic webinars with Anna and myself, a huge webinar library, and a resources section as well. And of course, all of that is 
backed up now. We've added the QTE funded Forex program. And the reason we've done it is very simple because we wanted to give you, our students, and this is only available to students on the program. I'm sorry, it's not available to anyone else. If you're a student on the program, you have the option to join. It's there to give you the opportunity to leverage your knowledge. And it's very simple in the way it works. It's, it's a no risk deal as far as you're concerned because you are trading our money. It's as simple as that. We give you the opportunity to start with an evaluation account at $5,000, $10,000, $10, or $15,000. Once you've achieved a, a very achievable target at that level, you've proved to yourself that you have the consistency to trade, you've proved to us you have the consistency to trade, we then multiply it by four. So if you start with a $15,000 account, we push you up to 60,000, and thereafter we double it. So you go from 60 to 120 to 240, and in pretty much no time at all, you would be up trading one and two million dollar accounts. It is simple as that. There is no risk to you. There's a one-off fee to pay. That's it. That's your only expense of getting into that particular program, but it's entirely optional. What we've now bolted together, we feel it gives the complete package, if you like, of giving you the opportunity as a student to benefit from your knowledge and prove to yourself that you can trade a large money account at no risk. So that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this particular video. Lots more to come as always. Thanks for watching. See you again soon and bye for now. Where will you find all the bits and pieces? You'll find them uh, here at, this is where you'll find all the indicators at quantumtrading.com. Uh, we have all the platforms, MT45, NinjaTrader78, Trading View, which I've just been through with you, and also uh, TradeStation has now been launched. We've got two versions of that. That's uh, the TradeStation 9.5 with interactive brokers as the live feed, and TradeStation 10, which is TradeStation Securities. And they, of course, incorporate the, the awesome power of radar screen, which is wonderful. And remember, when you invest with us, there's several things to remember. First of all, you can move your indicators from platform to platform. So if you start with one platform, you perhaps want to move to another platform, that's perfectly fine. We don't charge you for that. We just transfer your indicators across. We have a lot of uh, customers who start perhaps with MT4 or TradingView, then they want to move to uh, TradeStation or NinjaTrader. Perfectly fine. We do that for you. Absolutely no charge at all. And finally, if you do, whether you buy one indicator or several, if you upgrade to another package, for example, we will always give you a credit for those indicators. So you never lose out. You never lose your initial investment. We always protect you in that respect. So you'll always receive a full credit. And finally, of course, if you invest in the full package, even more so with TradeStation at the moment, because it's currently at $677, I think, off the top of my head. But once those other indicators are developed for the platform, then we will be increasing the price, which will align with the MT45 platform. So it's a great time to invest with TradingView because, as I say, you'll get all those indicators free of charge. You won't be paying for them. So it's not a bad time to invest in that package. Um, but all the other packages, if you invest with a full package, we also give you all future indicators we develop free of charge. It's just our way of saying thank you. Finally, just to give you a heads up on the education program, um, I've just touched on one or two aspects of it, obviously within the program here. It's called the Complete Forex Trading Program because that's exactly what it is. Uh, to say it's comprehensive um, is a disservice. It is everything you need to know. Uh, you have all the modules which cover the psychology, the fundamental analysis, relational analysis, so you'll understand how markets relate to one another in terms of risk, in terms of uh, relationships to, to bonds, bond yields, how commodities fit into that structure, and of course, the, and the actual relationships within markets, you know, how currency pairs relate within the markets themselves. You've got a, a, a deep dive into technical analysis, of course, that is, that is VPA. It's all the Wyckoffian principles, it's Wyckoff's third law, th three laws, and in addition to that, it's how to apply VPA, not just to, to straightforward analysis, but we teach you how to understand when a trend is coming to a pause point and to identify whether it's actually a reversal in trend, in other words, from primary to primary, or is it simply a pullback? And if there's one thing that you would learn, it is simply that, because that will stop you getting out of trades too early. It's as simple as that.
the mechanics of trading and then there's something like three two to three hundred hours of video vpa chart examples how to use the indicators pulling it all together topic webinars with anna and myself a huge webinar library and a resources section as well and of course all of that is backed up now we've added the qte funded forex program and the reason we've done it is very simple because we wanted to give you our students and this is only available to students on the program i'm sorry it's not available to anyone else if you're a student on the program you have the option to join it's there to give you the opportunity to leverage your knowledge and it's very simple in the way it works it's it's a no risk deal as far as you're concerned because you are trading our money it's as simple as that we give you the opportunity to start with an evaluation account at five thousand ten thousand or fifteen thousand dollars once you've achieved a, a very achievable target at that level you've proved yourself that you have the consistency to trade you've proved to us you have the consistency to trade we then multiply it by four so if you start with a $15,000 account, we push you up to 60,000 and thereafter we double it. So you go from 60 to 120 to 240 and in pretty much no time at all, you would be up trading one and two million dollar accounts. It is simple as that. There is no risk to you. There's a one-off fee to pay, that's it. That's your only expense of getting into that particular program, but it's entirely optional. What we've now bolted together, we feel it gives the complete package, if you like, of giving you the opportunity as a student to benefit from your knowledge and prove to yourself that you can trade a large money account at no risk. So that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this particular video. Lots more to come as always. Thanks for watching. See you again soon and bye for now.